shocking, brutal and devastating. These are just some of the words which have been used to describe the current levels of youth unemployment in the UK. In November of 2011, it was announced that there are now more than one million young people unemployed in the UK. That's over a third of the total number of the unemployed population, which stands at 2.6 million. The only thing I see in the future is possibly more chaos. No job searching, whatever. But it strikes me that there's one issue that doesn't seem to be crossing people's minds. That issue being how this economic crisis is going to affect our young people's peace of mind. But why should we be so worried about people worrying? Well, if the impact of an unstable economic crisis affects the UK in the same way it's affected the other Eurozone countries like Greece, then we may have great reason for concern, as mental health problems in countries on the continent have rocketed since the economic crisis began. In fact, a report from the Greek Ministry of Health shows that in 2011, suicide rates in Greece increased by 40% compared to the year before. Having no money is getting a lot of people down. In a recession environment, having enough money for the basics like food and rent can be a struggle. People are likely to have lower self-esteem, less confidence and fewer social contacts. All of this will have an impact on their mental health even if they don't suffer from a mental health disorder. I'm interested to find out just how much the Eurozone crisis is affecting the mental health of all young people. So aside from speaking to some British youths, I've also tried to get an international perspective. I'm speaking to Marine, an international student from La Rochelle in France. How much is it affecting people you know in your country? Um, well, quite badly because everybody is, is like without any job right now and looking to change of job because they were they, they were used to work in something which now is over and so they got a change and it's really hard for them. So yeah, it's kind of a problem now. Stockport is one of the poorest and consequently most crime-ridden areas of the country. I've come to St Peter's Church which is in the heart of the town centre. Youth workers here have created a weekly drop-in centre for local young people who can come for hot drinks and snacks. There's all different types of people. There's able people, people with mental health issues, there's people with anger issues, there's people with depressive issues, there's people with ordinary, you know, day-to-day -day issues like family and stuff. And there's not like lots of gaps for jobs, like even if you go to college, you can come out of university, there's still not a lot of jobs you can do, so sometimes I worry like all the time spent in college, it might not go to anything. Myself, I'm a fully qualified gym instructor, fully qualified personal trainer, fully qualified mechanic, I have a car and bike, and I work in a co-op. It's like all my qualifications and all the effort that I put in at college for the various years is just not put in, into practice anywhere. What I'm finding is that quite a few of the young people that come in on a Thursday night are unemployed and um, are pretty fed up with the fact that they've been unemployed for quite a long time and are really struggling to get anywhere near employment. Um, they're trying quite a few different ways of, of getting in, whether that's through training and other, other, other means, really. Um, but it's been quite tough listening to some of the uh, conversations that we've had over the last few months. Um, so they're, they're quite, some of them are quite frustrated and it's, it's, giving, it's trying to encourage them and keep them going. That's, that's the hard part, really. Sometimes I feel like there is just no point in trying to get a job because I'm not getting enough support and I'm just, well there's no jobs out there at all so, you know, you just got to ask yourself if there isn't going to be any jobs then what's the point? Speaking to young people in Stockport has really made me realise the extent to which youth unemployment is affecting young people. But it seems to be those in the higher end of the 16 to 25 age bracket who are most stressed out. How stressed out are they? Do they get really worried or is it just kind of a little bit of anxiety? No, they get really worried because they've all 
had a job before, got laid off and then they've got flats to pay for and just can't find a job. I'm also wondering how the rates of unemployment might be affecting those who are about to graduate. One Media Group is a radio station run by students of music journalism at Staffordshire University. I'm keen to know how, if at all, the economic crisis is affecting their motivation to succeed. I mean, at first, I sort of nodded along with the whole, oh, we're in a recession, so then um, it, unemployment is rife and, and you can't get jobs. But I've seen people that I know get jobs recently and through, through just hard work and effort, and I think that if you want to get a job, you can probably find somewhere and get a job. Um, it's affecting my level of motivation to think, I'm finishing in four months, I'm probably not going to have a job. So part of me thinks, what's the point? But on the other hand, it's spurring me on to do more work so I can come out in a stronger position. Luckily for them, the Career Centre at Staffordshire University provides a great support system. We're now using, with both students and graduates, a coaching approach so that we may have um, a number of us on the team working with and supporting an individual so that they're not just coming in and seeing one person once and that's it but they're coming in they're given some information they're given things to do they're told to come back when they come back that what they've done so far is looked at then that's moved on and slowly what hap we're finding is that actually um, gives people more confidence it seems that the mental health of young people in the UK really is being affected by the economic crisis and in the future we need to do everything we can to help young people and raise awareness of mental health issues.